Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're answering questions. I got a question from Pizza Welder, and Pizza Welder asked me this, and Pizza Welder, uh, he writes in periodically, um, and they're always pretty interesting questions. So today the question is, dear Mr. TIG, can you weld stainless to aluminum? And can you do it on AC? And can you try using either stainless or aluminum filler? I heard this is possible. And uh, all I can say is that it, it doesn't work. Uh, the two materials are just, they're not compatible. It's, you know, it's, uh, they're just a different crystalline structure altogether, so they'll repel each other. But I thought, you know, this is pizza welder, so uh, rather than, than go through a technical dissertation on why it can't do it, let's show you what it'll do and what it won't do. So what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of aluminum here. I've got my machine set up on AC. Um, I'm running about 140 amps. I'll run a bead on plate using aluminum filler material and then show you that it, it actually works very well. Then I'm going to jump over here. I've got a piece of stainless steel. I've got ER-308. And I may try to add filler. I think there's going to be a reaction. But nonetheless, let's try it. And I'll show you what we get. I got a puddle, nice clean puddle. But the arc is established really well. A lot of noise, as you can tell. That's the cleaning action taking place. And I'm just adding filler, add filler, add filler. I get to the well termination and I make sure I don't leave a crater crack. So I add a little, I put just a little extra filler at the end so I don't have a crater crack. Okay, so this is aluminum to aluminum. I'm using ER 4043. Um, this is 093 diameter. So you can see it, it lays a very nice consistent bead. Now I'm going to jump over here. <clears throat> I've got aluminum in hand, same filler. And I'm going to try to weld this aluminum to this stainless steel. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of reaction I'm going to get. Okay, and, and it's kind of interesting because both of them go liquidous, and then I, I mix the two, you know, using this filler material, ER4043, and you can see I've got a, I've got a puddle here, and the two of them mixed. Now the question is, how well? Well, while this is cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take ER308L filler material and use it as the filler now, and I'll... Uh, I'll put it the same weld down at the other end of the plate. So I've got aluminum stainless 308 stainless filler. Anyway, that, uh, that kind of had the uglies, so uh, at least putting the aluminum filler on there, it, it just had a better appearance. So I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes, and then uh, we'll get back with you. Okay, so, you know, we've made this weld about an inch long, this weld an inch long. Both of them are dissimilar materials. It's uh, still a little bit warm, so 
Let me see if it's got any strength to it whatsoever. And it doesn't, you know. So uh, you can take a, a close look at this and just see that the liquids mix and then they separate. So um, I just want to say to Pizza Welder that uh, we, we encourage you to continue to give us challenges, uh, keep sending the questions, uh, as bizarre as they are, but uh, when this show airs, we'd really like for you to call us and we've got the phone number for uh, Dr. Phil. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.